if there is any Muhammadan who would like to join us. All right, I'm glad that you got my books. Let us hope you will get the benefit of them. You know, there's many people, they, you know, they have books in the shelves. And some even people, they, they buy books just to put them in the shelf for for review. Like, you know, those on YouTube, uh, they want to like, make themselves look like they are educated. So they buy a nice uh, cupboard and they fill it with books. God knows what are they. And this is how they can make you think that they are educated. So you better read them and take notes and study otherwise uh, having books doesn't make much different don't waste your money unless you will educate yourself do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us if you are a Muhammadan and you feel confident about your religion or you think Islam like you know we are asking here if Allah is God why he doesn't know how things is created do Allah know even how simple things about the creation any Muslim Yeah, my books is very, uh, it's full of information. It's not like just, uh, I wanted to be sure that I'm not writing pages. I wanted to be sure that I am backing it with an emission, you know. So every, every single page have not, you know, it's just, the, some people make books talking about us now, but they don't really give you an emission, which is the reference and why otherwise talk is cheap I can talk about Islam from now until tomorrow saying Islam is bad I can talk about the social impact of Islam but if you don't give reference based on the religion then I'm talking about what I'm talking about Muslims uh, it's like you know when 9-11 uh, happened uh, there is many in the media they become even famous because they spoke against terrorism right but in fact, they did not speak against Islam. They were hypocrite and they keep talking about that there is some fanatic and this is supposedly not Islam. So those are hypocrite and instead of uh, sharing with the public what is true, they were deceiving them to establish an, a wrong opinion that Islam is a peaceful religion and there is a group of people of Islam, they have a wrong interpretation of Islam. But all of us, we knew that this is absolutely false. Right? They are always uh, sugarcoating things because they don't have decency. Until now, actually, if I say 90, maybe 99% per, uh, of those who they are famous in the media, including uh, so-called journalists, they don't talk about Islam, they talk about uh, extremist. But in fact, there is nothing that's called extremist in a Christianity or in Islam. Either you are a Muslim or you are not. Either you are a Christian or not. Well, what do you mean extremist? Somebody take his religion into extreme? Well, this is how it is, should be. If someone here is a Christian, uh, he claimed to be Christian, but he's a pimp, he's no Christian. An extremist Christian is a monk. Extremist Christian is someone following the steps of the disciples or the, or the Messiah. Extremist Muslim is what? Is someone practicing the true Islam. So why they try to, to separate between Islam and extremist simply to deceive you
Fadi saying, I speak Arabic, but the word sim or assum does not mean uh, uh, poison. No, it does, depend on how you, uh, the tashkil. Uh, uh, additional to that, you can correct the tashkil, which is the vov, by the sentence. So if I say, I ate, obviously it being food, which is poison. So it's not up to you. Don't tell me it doesn't mean. All right. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan would like to join us? If you are a Muslim who think Islam is from God, then your God is a true God. Actually, if you don't want to talk about this topic, no problem, we are open to talk about others. But I notice that all Muslims, when they come to hear or to speak to Christians, they have only one thing, Trinity. And they think that because they say we have one God, they think they have a privilege. Well, we have one God too. But having one God or ten God doesn't make you have a privilege or less privilege. It's a very silly argument. Because it's about if God is true or not. It's not about how many. If there is in this earth a billion God, uh, well, they are a billion God. If there's one, they are one. So the Muslim argument is very silly. What about we examine if your God is true or not? If he is one or ten or fifty or seventy, this is not our problem. Our problem, how he claimed to be God, but yet he says silly, stupid things. Can you be God and say stupid things? and do stupid things, and teach stupid things. Any Muslim? If we say to the wise man, you are a wise man, and he's a man, but we know that the wise man cannot be wise really. I mean, the, the, the best of us in wisdom is a foolish still, because it's about you know, wisdom is about like a relative to others. So you can be wiser than the rest, but maybe the rest are a bunch of fools. And you look wiser because they are fools. But when we speak about God, God should be always wise and his, his wisdom is supreme, unique. If you read the Quran, we will find right away that the one who made the Quran is weird, saying silly, stupid things. Do we have any Muhammadan? You can't be God and stupid in the same time. You know, I mean, a stupid God is dangerous God. Actually, I can prove that Allah is a stupid God. In two seconds. Not only he do not know, he says stupid things. Any Muhammadan? Well, obviously, the Muslims are not really proud anymore, and we are happy for that. But as long as there's no Muslims here, uh, just to show you how Allah cannot be smart, and he is stupid, there's a hadith, it's called Lawlaka. Lawlaka. What is that, lawlaka? What is uh, lawlaka? Mean uh, uh, if, if not, if if not you, if not because of you. So, let me put it for you on the screen, and we share it in both in Discord and Ramble. Um, give me a second. Uh, 
and let me share it with you here. <coughs> I hope you can see my screen right now. Can you? All right. I hope it's clear. So if you read here, and this is a very much Muslim website, you know, sponsored by terrorists. Hadith Lawlaka Ma Khalaqtul Aflaq. For sure, this is in Arabic, but it's written now in English. So you can, can, can pronounce it. The meaning of it, uh, if, if not you, Muhammad, I would not have a created creation. Who is talking Allah? I mean, how silly, how stupid. So is that the wisdom of God? He created the whole universe for the sake of man. Are we, are we toys? <laughs> you see how silly? What is this? And then it says here, so this is the question, if this is, is, it, is that a correct uh, story and hadith? They said, absolutely, indeed. Indeed, the answer, read with me carefully. Indeed, the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muslim cannot even say Muhammad without praising and saying, may Allah pray on him. Allah pray on him. Is the reason for the creation of Adam, peace and police upon him and the universe. If the Prophet of Allah was not in existence, then the throne of Allah, Arsh, the chair of Allah, the kursi, the lawh, which means the tablet of Allah, Allah have a tablet, galaxy, and the qalam, the pen of Allah, and the sky, and the earth, and the heaven, and the hell, and the trees, and the stones, would not exist. And then they say to you that we Muslims don't worship Muhammad. Allah himself worship Muhammad. Allah himself is exist for one reason is to serve Muhammad nothing more nothing less uh, yesterday somebody told me uh, and I want to say thank you for informing me that in Rambol people they have uh, echo when I share my screen is that the case do you guys have echo in your side in Rambol let me know please For sure, in Rumble we have way more. I'm not going on YouTube. Even on YouTube, I have like 156,000, but I'm done with this stupid YouTube. You know? I don't want it. The hand up button is not working. Uh -huh. Maybe I change the setting without noticing. Okay, let me see. Uh, can I change it right now when I'm talking? And then let us see. No, it's working. Here we go. How oh, Trinity? Oh, Trinity is an admin, I think. Uh, so is the is the bomb is not working really? It, it does work or doesn't work? Hmm. No? All right, I will, I will check. Let's check why. Uh, yeah, because you know those guys, they made me angry. So I start taking, I uh, went to rules and I was taking all the rules down. So maybe by mistake I did. Yeah, this is what happened when my uncle, he found that my dad is involved in a fight. He start beating everybody in his way, including my dad. <laughs> All right. Hello, my friend. Hello. So, just the first point is 
I assume you speak Arabic very well, so you should know that Allah doesn't pray to Muhammad, uh, doesn't worship him. He, he does pray uh, to Muhammad, but he doesn't worship him. Do you know that? So why he pray to Muhammad? Allah he pray to who? To Muhammad. But he pray to who? I don't get your question. Okay, if I pray, you see like in the Bible, the Messiah, he pray to the Father, for he is a son. So when you pray, a pray is, an, is a supplication uh, or a conversation, uh, either between uh, two equal or someone higher. So when Allah, he prayed to Muhammad, he is making supplication to whom? What do you mean by supplication? A prayer is supplication. If I say, oh my God, oh God, make me, uh, protect me, I am making supplication, asking God for health. So when God, yes, he, because... yeah, when your God, he prayed to Muhammad, he is asking your Allah, he is asking other Allah to do something to Muhammad? No, because let me tell you something. I know that you speak Arabic very well. Okay. That means you should know that the term Salat, which means praying, is not worshipping or asking somebody to help Muhammad. He is uh, t saying the grace on him. He is putting peace on him. That's the meaning of Salat. And praying, of course, even, if it, even in English. When you say pray, it doesn't mean worship or uh, or ask another god or another guy to to do something good or something bad on on Muhammad. He is just putting grace and peace on all right. him. All right, let us see if this is true or not. You Muslims, you come with this. You, you can go to the dictionary. No problem. I am the dictionary. We can go to the Quran right now, and we type the word salah. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. When your God Allah, and He command you. When Allah, your God, He command you, and He says, "Wa aqimu salah." How come yeah. you don't understand that? Is as saying, "Send the blessing," but you say, "Well, this is praying." You don't say, you don't say this is mean uh, a blessing right away. You say this is about action you do of a praying. So the word salah. Yeah, because of the contact, th thank you. But in the contact of the verse about Allah, he didn't say, uh, I am sending blessing. He did not use the word blessing. Arabic is a very rich language. We have, yes, a three, I, I we, we ha we have a 300 words just for the name of the lion. Correct? Just for the lion. Yes, I okay, so to, to describe an animal, we have a 300 words. Can't Allah say, do we have in Arabic the word the blessing? Do we have different word? It's not salah. For the blessing, so you, so you are basically okay. So we are basically saying, why did Allah use the term pray as salat in Arabic instead of using putting grace or something else? Is that what you? Yeah, because there is there is words for that. This is salah, mean a pray. Salah does not mean blessing. So now what you are saying to me, okay. your God, He is using a word, confusing people about what He meant. In the same time, if I go with you. If I will go with you, okay. Uh, when you say that Allah, He is sending the blessing to Muhammad, who is sending blessing? Only Allah, or other people? They can yeah. send. Who Who is the one who well, who will generate a blessing? Only Allah, because let me tell you something. Hmm. Because if uh, okay, so if I say I will pray to God or I will pray to Muhammad uh -huh. because I am a creature that means Allah is gonna put grace on Muhammad but the 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 if, if we turn it the other way if Allah said uh, to to pray to Muhammad uh -huh. it doesn't mean that because he is not like me he is not a creature he is a God and that's why you gotta uh, you gotta uh, make a difference between me, a creature, and Allah, a God. All right. As long you speak Arabic, maybe you can make it easier for everybody. I have the yes. verse. I have the verse in the screen, chapter thirty-three, verse number fifty-six. Can you read the Arabic and you translate? 
Yeah, but but uh, I I don't know why I can't see your your, your streaming. Uh, you don't see my screen screen. No, I I see the screen just loading. It's been a while now. I I don't see anything. All right, you can open from your side if you don't mind. Chapter thirty three, verse number fifty six. It says. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا. All right. Now translate for us. So the God Allah and His angel pray to Muhammad. Thank you. Oh, the people who believe in God pray to Him. Thank you. That's wonderful. Look what happened now. I asked you a minute ago. Who is the one who sent the blessing? You said to me, only Allah. It turned to be the verse saying that Allah and his angels, not Allah alone. Yeah. So now we have two, yeah. e two equal group. One is Allah and the other one is the angels. What they are doing? According to you, the word of prayer, I'm going with you right now. The word of prayer mean what? Giving blessing. So in Islam, look like angels, they can, get, can bless you too. And they are gods because only God can give a blessing and look what it says too oh believers do also bless him but is Allah it already blessed Muhammad then who did the rest so the holy statement do you see the name of the my title here I mean if I say if I am God and I blessed you who care about the rest asking for blessing already you are blessed did Allah bless Muhammad already or not yeah because I think that's because uh, you you imagine the God like that, but no, Allah He cares about. It's not who cares about them. He cares about them because He's a God. He's Allah. You are you are not tiny, listening, my tiny. friend. My friend, you, you did not understand. Let me repeat again. I'm not talking about He cares for you or not. I said, if Allah already blessed you, Allah already blessed Muhammad. Why the angels are needed, and why the believers are needed? If Allah already blessed me, is that by kilo? It's like uh, if you ask, if you ask for more, I will send, I will send more kilos of a blessing, like five hundred kilo more, and then you Muslim pray next day, and I will send additional five hundred kilos of a blessing. If I am blessed, I'm blessed. There's no need for all of this. Go ahead. So, uh, Muhammad, he is not the one who who needs the the to to people to pray to him. No, we pray to him because of respect to the prophets. We respect him. Mm. Okay? Okay, guys, we listen. Him. All right. So, so listen we, listen we, carefully. Not, okay, listen carefully. Listen uh, carefully. So you are saying you so you are saying to me now, Allah is not sending the blessing no more. He is just respecting him. <laughs> you just say that either you are sending the blessing. So in the beginning the word salah, prayer became blessing. Five minutes after the word salah, which was a blessing a second ago, because, because became respect. Arabic. Become respect. Listen carefully. So now it's respect. So in order to cover up for the silly statement, you said this is respect. Let us go with you. So now Allah, he respected Muhammad. And you Muslims asking Allah to respect Muhammad. Why did Allah disrespect Muhammad? So if he is very well respected at the point Allah himself is saying respect Muhammad, according to you. Why he need the Muslims to ask Allah? To ask Allah. Allah already he respected him. So already Allah he blessed him. Allah already made salah on him. Allah already respected him. And then Allah asking the angels, please send the blessing and respect to Muhammad. But already you did. Okay. As I told you before, uh, it's not like uh, like Muhammad needs, needs the blessing. It's <coughs> we... Uh, Tell him not. Not. I will correct myself. I shouldn't use the word, the term uh, pray. I should use the term bless because you know <laughs> a salat in Arabic has a variety of meanings. Has uh, it can mean bless. It can mean pray. So I will correct myself. So when we bless the prophet, we are not praying to him. Firstly, secondly, Allah. Let us stop uh, here. Said, Let us stop here. When you send the prayer no, or the. Uh, can I, can I, my sure, idea. sure, sure. But just a second, just a second, please. So when you send your prayer to Allah, or the blessing you are talking about, does it go to Allah or goes to Muhammad? Uh, how is that go to? Go, like in the, 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 the supplication you just made, 
the statement you just made, does it go to Allah or goes to Muhammad? The, 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 this, this prayer we, we like, uh, for example, when I say, peace be upon him, I'm, I'm showing respect. It's not the way, uh, it's not just, uh, for example, I'm praying to him or I am putting bliss on him in, in my name. No, I'm, I'm showing my respect to the prophets and, uh, so it's, so it's not, a, a, so it's not a real blessing. It's uh, not, so it's not a, it's not a blessing. It just respect, correct? There's no blessing in there. But Allah, He's the one who bless because I don't. Bless. Okay, so when you say I am sending salah on Muhammad to Allah, are you asking Allah to do something, or you are asking nobody? We ask for blessing for the prophets. Thank you. So why you so why you said respect? You are asking, so respect. don't switch the word blessing with respect. respect. No, you are asking for blessing, not respect then. Now, as long you say you are asking Allah, so when you say, I am asking Allah, do the prayer you make goes to Allah or go to Muhammad? Just let me finish my point, and uh, please, if you can, don't interrupt me, okay? Mm -hmm. So, as I just said, we don't pray for Allah, we pray to Allah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can't we can't bless Allah. We are asking him out of respect to bless Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? I can I talk now, or you will say I'm interrupting you? No. Go ahead. Okay. But you are saying we are asking Allah to bless Muhammad. But isn't it the verse says Allah bless Muhammad already? I mean, listen carefully. If I am hungry and I pray, somebody pray for me, says, God, feed the Christian prince. But God already, he fed the Christian prince. So why you are asking God? Christian prince is not hungry no more. God, he, he so are they, are we, are we talking about a God who is, his blessing expired? So we need to keep asking Allah for more blessing because the blessing he did yesterday is expired like f bad food or the blessing of Allah will go forever especially Muhammad is dead already are you not hearing what I'm saying brother I'm hearing I'm hearing well, same time same right, time you, same time you avoided you avoided my question I said if I now God forbid I pray to Allah asking him to bless Muhammad as you said the prayer which I just made goes to Allah or goes to Muhammad I said, we uh, ask Allah out of respect. This is another question. We ask him to. Okay, let us make it. Let us make it. Let us make it simple for you. If I wrote, my friend, my my friend, why you are why you are not listening? If he is blessed already, then this is all drama. All this drama is not needed. This is fabrication. Then, if he is already blessed, so why Allah is asking for you to ask him? Why, 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 what, how more blessing can receive? Is it by kilos? We go back to zero. What do you mean by more blessing? Is Muhammad will go to heaven or he need a blessing to go to heaven? Is, is Muhammad in trouble? Is Muhammad in trouble and you must have trying to save him by begging Allah to bless him? Or he, or he is saved? Is he saved? Is he saved? Is he going to go to heaven for sure? Or because he is not sure, you Muslims keep asking Allah, please Allah. Please Allah, pray on Muhammad. Okay. So, my friend, mm -hmm. what, uh, I said, he doesn't need that. He doesn't need to, to my, I am from Morocco and he will need my particular words to, to save him or to go to heaven. He doesn't need that. He is blessed already. But we ask for more blessing because we love him. He changed our lives, and we can never. <laughs> okay, you see now you want to now you want to give me what how he changed it. He's changed your life to worse. But let us go on. Let us focus. Focus with me. I don't know why you are avoiding my question. If you send a letter to Allah asking Allah to bless Muhammad, the letter will go to Allah or will go to Muhammad to read it. The letter, it's not 
like a letter or something. I am uh, not saying it is a letter. I'm saying if it is, like if it is. So now you send the I prayer. You send the prayer. Yes, you yes, send. I'm you send the prayer, my friend. You are avoiding my question. I don't know why. If you send the prayer now, the I prayer, the Allah. the pray, the Allah, right? Not to Muhammad. Yeah. If you send it to Muhammad, that will make Muhammad God, correct? Yeah. Thank you very much. But in the hadith, it says that your prophet he said that do prayer on me, for your prayer will be sent to me. So when you say, and everybody heard you a second ago, that if the prayer went to Muhammad, that means Muhammad is God. Here we go. This is your Muslim website, and this is your prophet, and this is authentic. Okay, my Re God. Read it. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. How this is can be, and remember, it's you, not me, a second ago. Everybody is my witness. You said if the prayer went to Muhammad, that means Muhammad is God in Islam. Can you read? Bro, you, you, you have a misconception. It's you who it's say it. It's not a prayer. It you is, it is, okay, it I'm is. It, you see, you see my friend, my friend, I ask you about the blessing. You said, okay, we ask Allah blessing. I said to you, oh, where you send it? You keep playing with the word when you want a blessing, when you want a blessing. It doesn't matter. I ask you, this is a prayer about a blessing. You send it to who? Do you send it to Muhammad or to Allah? You said to Allah. I said, is that, does that mean if you send it to Muhammad, that will make him God, right? You said, yes. So you agreed already. Everybody heard you. So now the prayer, as you see, your prophet, he says, in the in, in a fri Friday is the best of the day. And do you see the word supplication? Do you see the word supplication? It's a prayer, not a blessing. Supplication to Allah, more often for me. For your supplication will be displayed to me, not to Allah. Okay, so you have a misconception because uh, what you told me right now is tahiyyat in, in, in the prayer. We say it, but even though it's not me who, who's, who's, who's gracing or, or blessing Muhammad, not. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's, it's Allah who's blessing him. I know, I know, but I, I but a second ago I asked you. A second ago I asked you. The prayer will be sent to who? To Allah, to Muhammad. You said to Allah. I said, why? Is that because if you send it to Muhammad, then that will make him God? You said yes. So now your God is Muhammad. The the supplication you made, the supplication you made is not going to Allah. It's going to Muhammad, as you see. No, my brother, because let me. Let me show, clear up my, my, my Okay, uh, Muhammad uh, is dead. Muhammad is dead. How, they ask him here in the, in the hadith, how, how will our blessing, which is our prayer, which is not true blessing, first translation, how our prayer will be displayed to you when you decayed, your decayed body, you will be dead. Your body will be mixed with the earth. He said, Allah, he said, Allah forbid the earth from consuming the body of the Prophet. So is your prophet, he is dead or alive in the grave now? Okay. Uh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to play with, with words. Let me get my, my, <laughs> my, point, my point clear. Which prayer are you talking about? The Which same one we are talking about for the last 20 minutes, my friend. What's wrong with you? Yes. Uh, which prayer? I don't care. Your blessing, whatever you call it. So your prayer will go to Muhammad, and Muhammad is dead. And Muhammad, so is and, and Muhammad will hear it, and Muhammad will see it, and Muhammad will read it. So is Muhammad is dead yeah. in the grave? Do you Muslim believe that Muhammad is eternal? He never die, and he is alive, even when he's in the grave? Or you believe he is a human being, like everybody else, and he is dead, and he cannot read, and he cannot hear whatever happened in the world? What? I said through angels. He's dead. What through angels? Does it say first of all there's no angels there? Don't add things are not there, you know? Secondly, it says they, they, they ask him, they ask him, they ask him. Look, look how your prophet he have a 
you know, I say, and I'm not insulting, by the way, I'm telling you my opinion. He, you, I believe you're, you're a prophet. He, let me tell you, he is a spirit. He has a spirit. The, the, the spirit. No, 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 no. Don't talk about the spirit because look what it says. Look what it says. He said that your body will be decay. He says Allah, he forbid the earth from consuming the bodies. So he's talking about the bodies. He never mentioned the word spirit. Don't go there. As you see, they ask him for the reason. How you can? How you can? He didn't say my spirit. He is in the grave. He said the body of the prophet will not be consumed. So he claimed that he is living with his body in the grave. And he still he can hear and he still he can talk and he still he can receive and he can read because it said displayed. Yes, displayed. The general understanding. In Islam when you die <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tell me. You, you don't you don't see to exist. You still have a spirit. My friend, okay, you have a spirit. Did he say that your prayer will come to my spirit or it's said talking to his body? In his body, as you see, it says body, body. Where is the word spirit? Why do you keep adding words? They, they ask him how you can, they ask him how, my friend. Listen. We can't translate the term in Arabic to English. You can, you can. No, no, don't, don't, no, don't go there, please. You can, you can. What do you mean you cannot? It's, it's clear. And this is your Muslim translation. They ask him what is the reason? How you can? receive the prayer when you are dead he said because my body will not be consumed but all of us we knew that when your prophet by the way died the sahaba they said let us bury your muhammad for he stink so here muhammad he lied again the muslim did not bury muhammad for three days three nights hoping that he will come back like christ because he told them actually he the body of you see the body of the prophet will not be decayed so they did not bury him and Mecca is a very hot city. After three, the, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just showing you additional lie. Muhammad, he said, did his body stink? Did his body stink? Yes, he stink. Even Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas, he said, "Itfunu sahibakum fa innahu yantum kama antum al-bashar." Bury your friend. He stink like every human being. He stink. So Muhammad, he lie. So prayer will not go to Muhammad because he's not God. And you said that. You said the prayer should go to Allah. Now Muhammad claiming to be God, and he now he claimed that he is alive yet he is dead, and now he claimed look how many lies in one in one hadith. He claimed that he is alive when he is dead, and he can hear and he can see and he can read. He claimed that his body will not decay. He claimed that the prayer of Muslims will come to him, and none of those is true. His body decay and he stink. The prayer he cannot hear it because he is dead, and the prayer supplication to him send it to him that means came God. So it's a lie. Okay. So <laughs> the problem is you are misunderstanding uh, this hadith. Ah, okay. Explain it to me. Go ahead. Guys, I misunderstood. I mean, the text is so clear. Muhammad is not dead. He is in the grave. His body is preserved and he can hear. Here we go. He's gone. Bye bye. Bye bye. You guys, you said nobody can raise his hand. So he, how he was able to raise hand? Still, you cannot raise your hand. Oh, you have to invite him. How we can fix this uh, hand uh, invitation thing? Let me see where we can we go. I need to check it out. Yeah, I need to find out where is that can be fixed. It is C server setting. Okay, Lisa, thank you. But do you see, guys, how stupid Islam is? Do you see how stupid Muhammad is? Low IQ. And if Muhammad is a prophet of God, the best of mankind, who need this to pray for me? But because he is a mentally ill, he want the whole universe to be busy with him. He's like a goat who jump in the top of your car because she likes to jump and show off. So Muhammad now, he made himself the center of the universe. The God, the angels, the human being, all they are doing one thing, 
praying on Muhammad. This is a very well known uh, uh, mental illness, you know. There's many people they suffer from it, seeking attention, worshiping themselves. He left because it's obvious the mental illness of Muhammad is very obvious. Do we have any Muhammadan? Why you never have a topic on Christianity? Well, there is many programs that speak about Christianity. Here I am a butcher of Allah. Why you are here if you don't like my topic, potato? I am the butcher of Islam. You like it, like it. You don't like it, take a hike. You don't come to me and tell me, this is what I study. This is my, my degrees is about. This is my knowledge. So it's very normal to talk about it. And the stupid you, you keep coming here. Christian Brent, why you don't talk about Christianity? Brother Tatar, the other person is not Christian Brent. I mean, don't think of Christianity. I mean, a bunch of fools. What the heck with those people? What about you bring me Zachary Naik so I can butcher him pieces? Let everybody laugh at him. Where is your scars? No, you did. Because always you come here, you say the same stupid things. You are like a bug in the ear of a cat. You say nothing, you do nothing, you talk nothing, but you just bother people. Isn't this what you say every time you come here? Betito. Option select. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. I know usually you take calls only from uh, Muslims. All right. Uh, on the next Muslim, <clears throat> I just want to push back a little bit on something, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, I heard you once say uh, Muslims believe that. Uh, excuse my language. Uh, like in heaven. Uh, the man would have endless penis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I saw that you provided the evidence for that. Mm -hmm. And I totally agree with you. Like when I saw the evidence. Okay. Uh, I I certainly can't say it's wrong. It's certainly there. Okay. But I'm, I'm just, I just don't feel like it's fair to say that Muslims believe in that because like for uh, about 25 years when I was like practicing going to the mosque and that, I never heard of this to be honest with you. Okay. Can I answer you? Yeah, yeah, sure. So you are telling me, I'm not, I'm not being rude by the way to you, I'm just please be patient with me. So you are telling me yeah, sure. I am a Muslim who was ignorant for 25 years and never heard of it and I don't know it. So still the Muslim believe in that. When I say Muslims, is Islam. So if you are a person who never heard of it, it's not my fault. If I say the Christian believe in this, and then a Christian guy, he said, I never heard of it. Well, the Christians still believe in it. Who is he? He's nobody. The Christians is those who know their religion or their belief, and they believe in their belief. So you being ignorant is not an excuse. It's your ignorance. So now you are saying to me, well, a Christian prince, he knew way more than me, even though I was 25 years Muslims and left Islam. But I never heard it before because they wouldn't talk about it because it's a shameful thing. It's a stupid thing. How many Muslims will leave Islam? Let us be honest here. How many Muslims will start thinking about leaving Islam if the sheikh in the mosque, he said to them, Brothers, sisters, Alhamdulillah, tomorrow when you go to heaven, Allah will give you endless penis. How many will leave? Those things, they hide it. If it is something, if it is something they can be proud about it, they will repeat it every day. See, B, I, I, uh, I, I work in a warehouse, so they, they, they brought another guy from uh, Afghanistan, right? I live in Canada. Okay. And uh, this guy, uh, when he met me, like he really liked me, the, the, but like I'm trying not to tell him that I'm like an ex-Muslim because. Mm -hmm. 
you know about these people, I think. And uh, uh, <clears throat> and uh, one day, my uh, another colleague told, he told him that hey, Muhammad doesn't believe. The, uh, and if you see the look in his eyes, I was like worried for my safety. But then he asked me why you don't believe, and I told him, man. Did you know that your prophet married someone who was six years and have sex with them at the age of nine? Mm -hmm. And he was like, no way, right? And he's talking like bad about Hindus, how they believe in like statues and stuff. Da, da, da. They told him, bro, like your prophet went to the moon or like beyond the moon to the heaven on a flying donkey. And, and uh, you know, like, there's a lot of stuff they don't know about, right? It's like all propaganda. I just, like, I, I like your shows. I'm not, I totally agree that I was, uh, like, uh, ignorant. But I just, uh, like, my push is uh, the difference between Muslims and Islam. Yeah, I agree with you, Muslims, yeah. They don't know about that. But Islam is totally saying that. So that's like was my little bit push on that point. I think it's more fair to say Islam. You can say whatever you want, but Islam, Muslims, when I say Muslims, is somebody, he knows his religion. There is obviously... So, so just, I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt, but uh, just like a little... Okay, a little if a Muslim, he thinks he can take a Christian as a friend, obviously he's not a Muslim, because the Quran says, the one who takes them as a friend, he is one of them. Right? What, what do you call these like one billion um, plus people? It doesn't matter what I call them. I'm talking about Muslims who believe in Islam. If they are not Muslims, they are not Muslims. Who care about yeah, numbers? Exactly. Same as in Christians. Like, There's a three billion Christians. But are they really Christians? There's many of them. They don't even know a single phrase in the Bible. They are not Christians. They call themselves John, George, etc. But they are false people. They are not Christians. There's a lot of people who are like good my friend, there's nothing is called, this is nothing about good and bad. This is about a belief. I'm not discussing if you are a good person or a, maybe you are better than me. This is not the question. There is, there is people, they can be good, but good is relative to what they think. So there is somebody who think he is good because he's homosexual. Someone else, he think he's good because he's not homosexual. The other one, he think, I mean, I mean, my friend, just I mean, let me, let me explain to you. The word good is relative. The people who used to eat human being, they never thought that they are bad, but they eat a human being. They catch a human. They catch him. They kill him. They cook him. They slaughter. They butcher, and they eat him as if he's a cow. A, a Hindu. Uh, let me finish. A Hindu. If you kill his cow, and eat it, you are a very bad person, for him. So the word good is very much relative to where you live and who you are and who is the one looking at you and who is the one who is judging you. And but and by what rules? For us as the Christians. The word good and bad, there is no human being is good. No human being. It doesn't matter who is he, including the Christian. The good only belong to Allah, according to Muslims. The good for us belong only to God, according to the Christians. But when we examine the, the good of Allah, we find him it evil. We examine the good of, of, of Christ, we find it extremely truthful and wonderful. So, for us, nobody is good and nobody deserves to be called good this is you can say in normal conversation with people about describing someone no problem but when you speak about religion you cannot say good people there's no good people all people are sinners however when i have a religion teaching me that i can have sex with a child she is six years old as you said and then there is somebody he don't know that but doesn't make him good he doesn't know it and actually, it, it, it make him more stupid. It make him bad because it's still, it's, you are bad if you are ignorant. Because then you can be involved in something stupid and you become, like you join a gang, but you do not know that they rape children. Why you join it? So that is not an excuse for who is good and who is bad. For me, anyone who believes in Islam, he have to be following Islam. Otherwise, why you call yourself a Muslim? Same for a Christian. If somebody claimed to be Christian, wearing a cross in his neck, but he's a pimp. Obviously, he's a pimp. He's no Christian. So I'm not here to discuss there's good people and bad people, because in my eyes, as God taught, taught me, there's no good people, including me. 
no good people never ever think there is something is called the good people we have we the good is relative between each other like I can say you are you are better than me but still you are not good it's like we have a, we have a pile of garbage and there is one he stink more than the other one so a human being all of them they stink and the why they stink with their sin and usually and this is what a human being does when he stink he cover his sink he hide it you know like you know cover it up he don't expose it but still he stink it's like somebody his house is full of dirt what he do he push it under the couch or under the bed so people they come they see only what is shiny but the fact his house really full of garbage so the word good is relative it's only not relative when it's weak about God for his perfect perfectly good and that's why sin have nothing to do, to do with him but sin have nothing have all a lot to do with us and then you say to me I want to push back well you cannot push back because simply why you call yourself a Muslim if you do not know what Islam teach then you should not this is your fault not my fault Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't. I don't speak. I don't. Sp my friend. I don't speak. I don't speak Hebrew. All right. Yeah. That is not an excuse for me to know. I don't to say I do not know the Bible. Correct. Because yeah, that's fair because these days, I mean, maybe in the old days we can say so. There's no translation. Blah blah. But now, I mean, you have a software can translate anything for you in two seconds in your phone, right? Yeah, but like. Isn't, for example, Ibn Kathir, like I've, I've watched your shows a lot to know that you know that, like Ibn Kathir and the others, they are basically, uh, like in English, they are different. But exactly, but, but my friend, this is why we are here, this is why I'm here. Yeah. If everything is yeah. truthful in front of people, you see, why there is somebody he teach in school? Why there is a teacher? Because yeah. uh, the teacher job is needed. If it's not needed, nobody will hire a teacher, correct? We we'll only have books, no teachers. Yes. Job, yeah. And why we need books? Because books is needed. So anything is needed is exist there for a reason. And now, if we keep saying excuses, uh, like, you know, some Christians are fake. They say, uh, they go sleep around, have sex, you know. And then they say God is merciful. That's false. You will go to hell. That's not what God asks you to do. Yeah. You have to prevent yes. yourself. Mm -hmm. If you don't repent, time will come and you die. And this is your lifestyle. Okay, you are gone. So we can fool ourselves. And we can claim to be Christians too. Uh, but in fact, we are not. I can commit sin because I'm weak. Okay. But I fight my sin. Like sometimes I fail. But I don't like it. I hate it. It's like when a horse is running, he fell down, but the horse will not fail down every two steps. Otherwise, this horse he is doing it on purpose. The horse should walk a thousand step, ten thousand step before he fell down again. So it's 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 part of our life that we fail down, and our Lord he understand that. This is why forgiveness is exist, but not a person he fell down every two steps. Obviously, he don't want to walk. He like it. If I go to the bar now, you know, like okay, I have I met with a woman, I slept with her, and now uh, the coming five days, I'm a good Christian supposedly. Oh no, that was bad. And then next weekend, I go to the bar again, and next weekend, after, so between the bars and the bars journey, I'm a good Christian supposedly. <laughs> that doesn't work. Obviously, you are a fraud. So. We don't want to go and say some people know, some people don't know. Why they don't know? Don't they know about the version in the Quran? Don't they know the Quran says even you would have boys in heaven to serve you? See, we, see, we didn't you see that uh, Zakir like say uh, means male and female? <laughs> like, yeah, well, it's a, uh, and you see, and this is how stupid the people are. I mean, the the Quran says. They will not bleed, yet Zachary Naik, he says there is male and female. 
and nobody put and his don't, hand up. Don't you feel bad for them? Like they are victims of life. My friend, this is why I'm here. I'm devoting my uh, my life for people like you and them. Yeah. I mean, how I can, what I, I can, I, what I can do more. I, do you know how many days I stay every day speaking about this garbage? I hate it. I, I actually wanted to like ask you about something else, but like I see someone uh, want to go like on the stage. You were able to raise your uh, you were able to raise your hand, or somebody invited you? No, I think the mod added me. I got a notification. Uh, I need to find out what uh, what I did. I think it's me who did that. Uh, did yeah. that. All right. Yeah, uh, just a uh, rumble in the description box. There's a link for your Discord. It's not working. I wanted to let you know. Uh, okay, I will I will repost again. No problem. Yeah, maybe because this is the old uh, the old video. Yeah, I just use a template. Yeah, I use a template. I will fix that. No problem. It said uh, invalid. Invite. Yeah, yeah. This is a this is for a previous event I created. It was temporarily event, but this one now, it's always will be the same. Okay, I, I will go to Patreon and fix it. Thank you for for letting me know. No, no problem. And like a small, I don't know if you can fix this. But uh, I tried to look for Christian Prince, I couldn't find you on Discord. So I noticed there's no space between Christian and Prince. Maybe if you put the space, but like you know better. Mm, okay. Well, I don't know it. My my name have a space, so I don't know why there's no space. Yeah, I know the server. Maybe I'm mistaken, but it says Christian. Prince yeah, one. it's okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Have All right. Well, day. thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, so, uh, who's talking? Sorry. It was me. I was just saying it's fixed. Uh, raising yeah, I can see that. Okay, thank you. And please, guys, admins, don't change names of people. And you know, no, we we want to be mature. Uh, we are here to help people, not to abuse them. Uh, there is no point of making fun of anyone. Uh, remember, here there is someone who is so smart and there is someone is just naive as naive can be still the lord he loved them both being naive doesn't make you bad this is how he is so we are not here to make fun of them unless they are the one who wanted people to make fun of them but not by changing their names and you know so you say stupid things then people they will laugh at you it's your fault but we do not need to do do those things uh, let me fix this uh, link in uh, in Rambo. Let us see. All right. <coughs> let us see this link. It's working. Yeah, I think this link is working. All right, I will fix it in Rumble right now. I have to do editing. And it will work. Well, there is no link there in Rumble, actually. I did not post a link. Anyway, I will post it in the uh, in the info for the video in Rumble. And people, they can see it. And if you like to share a link with everybody, in in the internet this is the link for my discord ah, it says invalid link i just open it why it says invalid link that's weird i just open it and it says join but i don't know ah it says invalid hold, hold, hold. I, 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 it's invalid yeah okay let's see uh, you are right let me see the other one Invalid link. Hmm. Yeah, look like uh, I don't know. Discord changed our link for. Uh, I will see what happened. I will try to fix it later. I have a Muslim college that uh, might join he know arabic only is that okay 
Well, I don't know. It's okay, but uh, I mean, how people will understand what we are saying? I mean, people here they need to to understand. Do we have any Muhammadan? Let me see if I can find the link. How to find the link? How did it? I did it last time. Looked like the link in, and you know changed. Not sure why. It says copy server ID. So the server have an ID. Okay. But this is not a link. Hmm. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh, okay, look like you can find our server from the server ID. I see. <coughs> yeah, I just took. Uh, let us see. Any Mohammedan? to see the link somebody posted if it work all right this link is working I will post it and thank you for the one who posted for us okay and we will go to patreon update our link The Patreon app is really not that much good for me. Like you post some time invitation for people to join, and then you check out after an hour, you find nobody was able to receive anything because simply the app did not post it. All right, I'm posting now. Uh, in Patreon. Let us see. And not only that, I notice that if I post paid members only, it work. When I post everyone, it doesn't work. So what I need to do after I put, you know, I don't know. I think because they want to make money, you post the all paid because I, as you know, I don't, uh, I don't do my service for people who pay me only, and I don't like to do favor, you know, special favor for the one who have money over the one who don't. But this is what happened in Patreon. So I always I have to redo it twice. First I post it as only paid. Then you go and you click at editing. And then you fix it. And then it will appear. Um, all right. Do we have any uh, Muslim? Any Muslim here? This is the link for Discord, guys. We just update. If you like to share it, and any Muhammadan? How is the image coming in uh, in Ramble? Is it coming good? Is it clear for you on your screen, your phone? Okay. What about the sound? I'm using the chief phone, the $18 phone. Is it fine too? Okay. <coughs> Not everything is cheap is bad, you know. <laughs> we have uh, Nora. How are you doing, Nora? 
Okay, go ahead, Nora. What do you want to say to us? You are not muted. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, I'm not a Muslim, but I have a question that a Muslim asked me, and I don't know how to respond to that. All right, go ahead. So basically, the Muslim tells me that uh, so God protects us. So why did He, uh, Jesus, uh, mother of uh, uh, son of Mary? Wait, sorry, I will repeat because I said it wrong. So basically, uh, the person told me that God protects us. But why did Mary, mother of Jesus, had to protect him? Where, where Mary, she had to protect him? What does that mean? Is that when is that when she went to Egypt? No, that was when she died. Ah. So uh, first of all, Jesus he said, I lay down myself, my life, nobody can take it away from me, and you can go to John ten uh, eighteen. So Jesus, anything happened to the Messiah, it's by, by his permission, he allowed it to happen. Otherwise nobody can harm Jesus. And this so is you can give the answer for anything. They say to you, the answer is always in the Bible. You go to Jane, John 10. If somebody can pause the verses, John 10, 18, you will see that. And repeat it many times in the, in the Bible too, not only. So, anything happened, if the Messiah, I mean the Messiah will have a power over the death but and life, and he healed the leper, and he can make the blind see, and he cursed the tree, the tree died immediately. You know, a fig tree, if you try to kill it, will take you a lot of work to kill it. You cut it, it come back. You cut it, it come back. You put uh, poison in it, you try, it come back. As long as the roots, are, the, the roots are deep and they are very hard to kill. The Messiah, he said one word, and the tree died. So he can do the same for a human being. Any human being, he want to hurt him. Same time, as long as the Muslim women, she is talking about that, well, how come Allah in the Quran says that he protected the Kaaba from the army of the elephant, which is very sto very story, a story, but we see later that the Kaaba was destroyed tons of times and burned, and even al qurmuti he took the Kaaba uh, stone, the black stone, and he make it a purple stone for 40 years. Some they say 21 years. So, how come? How come Allah did not protect Muhammad, but yet he protect Jesus. According to the Quran, Allah, he took Jesus to heaven, so nobody can kill him. According to Muhammad, a Jewish woman, she gave him poison, and he died, suffering and struggling from poison. How come Allah protect Jesus, but he don't protect Muhammad? I hope, sister, you are taking notes. And as you see, we show reference here, we don't make speeches. The Prophet, he said, in his element which he died, he used to say, O oh, Aisha, I feel the pain. I feel the pain. By, caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. Khaybar is when Muhammad, he invaded the Jews and he killed them and he raped their women. And at this time, I feel as if my orta being cut off from that poison. So how come Muslims, they ask a question about Christianity, but the same question will destroy Islam? Anything else? Uh, no, no, thank you. Are you an, are you an Arab? Are you an Arab? Uh, I'm Arab Christian. Arab, right, wonderful. Invite your friends and take notes. So when Muslim here, they ask you a question, you know how to spank them back. All right, thank you so much. All right, take care. Have no mercy on the liars. Hey, Amir, go ahead. Amir is muted. Let me unmute you. Okay, Amir. Go ahead, Amir. Amir. Are you there, buddy? Don't forget, uh, it's a mute, still a mute, hold on.
Go ahead, Amir. Yo, hello, do you hear me? Oh, I hear you. Go ahead. Brother, brother, Christian Prince. Uh-huh. Listen, listen. I, I have a question. I have a question. All right. Are you a Muslim? Yeah, yeah, yeah but I've been doubting my faith. Oh, but you, you sound like you're a Shia. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. I was like doubting my faith and I texted my Muslim friend uh-huh. and then he was all like he like sent me a scripture of the Bible and he was like the Bible goes against itself Let me see. Like, can you explain it to me uh, he said the Bible go against itself yeah and then he sent me some verses okay so is he saying to you that the book of Allah going against the book of Allah isn't it the Bible according to Islam is sent by Allah yeah so how the book of Allah, is he saying to you that Allah could not protect his book and there's a contradiction? Yeah. Okay, well, that, that means Allah, that. Mean Allah is a false God. This is number one. Number two, this Muslim is a hypocrite. Let him come to me and let us see. It is the Quran go against itself. In fact, the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradictions, which mean the God of Islam is the one who set the rules, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, how Allah, he says, if this book, not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction, and still the Muslims believe in it, when the Quran, all of it, is against the Quran. Every chapter in the Quran is against the Quran. Any chapter, Do you, like to, do you like to invite this uh, this man who says to you? Yeah, same time, right. same time, my friend. When somebody says to you and he gave you scriptures, you can go right now and type the scripture, says contradiction, and you will see what the Christian says about it. If it's convincing to you, then it's convincing. If it's not, that means the Christians are, uh, you know, they don't believe in the true God then too, right? Or their book is corrupted. But I assure you that all their question is invalid, it's st stupid and silly. Like they say to you, how here it says the king, he was etc. age, and there it says he was etc. age. This is not a contradiction, this is a stupidity of them. A king, he become a ruler, but doesn't mean he become a king. Because simply, you inherit the throne, but there's an age. If you don't reach that age, you are not the king for real. You are just a king by name. So, this is not a contradiction. This is their stupid, silly stuff. But in the Quran, their God don't remember which one he created first. One verse he says he created the earth and then the heaven. The other verse says the, the heaven and then the earth. One verse he says the stars first, the mountains last. One verse says, well, the earth, the mountains, the water first, and the stars last. So, if the Muslims are seeking decency and honesty, about contradiction, well, this is in the Quran. Especially the Quran says, if this is أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنِ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنَ عِنْدِ غِيرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُ فِيهِ اِخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا How come they cannot, uh, you know, uh, deal with the Quran? Why well, they cannot deal with it? Because it's a stupid book. It cannot be both in the same, same time. You cannot be a God who created the stars first, and then in the second verse you say you created the mountains first. And this is goes for everything. CP, CP, when I learn off you, the mm. people in your chat, they say I'm trolling. But I actually want to learn about Christianity. No problem. I, I, I know if somebody is trolling or not. No problem. You can troll, no problem. You, tro you, you troll with me, I will, troll, I will troll you to Allah. Don't worry about it. So do you see the verse in the Quran? Yeah. Okay, what it says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot, surely you have found in it a lot of contradiction. And this is my challenge to the Muhammadan. Who is a Muhammadan? He can join us and examine this verse with us. Anyone? The, 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 the Muhammadan said they're here. No, no need to give them the app, just invite them. Okay, Amir, thank you very much for uh, for joining us. Here, here, I ping them, Christian friends. Can you get them on stage? 
Where are they in the chat? Yeah, they want to debate you. Are they in the chat? They can put their hand up. We invite them. Just let them come. Is that uh, Ogaz? Ogaz, are you a Muslim? Ogaz? Oh, there's seven meters. What? Oh, I'm Muslim. How old are you? I'm 19. Okay, you are a, you are a female? Yes. All right, what do you, li what do you like to say to us, uh, Ogaz? Oh, oh, um, give me a sec, hold on. Oh, I got a question for you. No problem, go ahead. Um, <laughs> what? Wait, I'm pulling out my question. Give me a sec, bro. Oh, okay, download the question. No problem. It takes me some time, a lot of time to get my question together. Okay, so Jesus died. Um, when court is the Dennis 1534, right? Jesus died what? Jesus died 1 Corinthians 15.34 It says in the Bible mm -hmm. And? And um One second, one second And it says God never died after, correct? Okay God cannot die. That well, God life. never died. This is true because Jesus, he's still alive by the Spirit. So God, you know, we, we as a Christian, we believe that God uh, uh, is, uh, this is why we believe in the Trinity. So God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and always the Spirit of God is within Jesus. So what they killed, they killed the flesh of Jesus. And Jesus was always alive by the Spirit, by the Spirit. However, you Muslim, you don't believe that Allah is a spirit, which means he is always dead. Nobody can kill him because he does not exist. Correct? Okay, but then why does the Bible say that God died? What is talking about the flesh of Jesus, as Jesus is a person, he died. The person, as a flesh, he died. But Jesus, uh, 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 himself, he said, the Christ, before Abraham, I was. Okay, so now they killed Jesus, who was just born 30 years ago. But the Messiah is exist before Abraham. So obviously the existence of the Messiah have nothing to do with the existence of the flesh. So before his birth, he has exist. The Messiah, he said to the Father, I was with you before the world was. So the existence always for a human being is the second you are born. But in the case of Jesus, he is always alive. If you go, okay, if hold I, on, if you go to First Peter, chapter 3, verse number 18, if somebody can post it, it says, For Christ also suffered once for sin, for our sin, the righteous, for the unrighteous, for bringing you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. So, the Messiah is always alive by the Spirit, and always he never die as God. It was just a flesh, and we can find the same in many in, in many occasions. It's speaking about the same thing, uh, uh, like if you go uh, uh, to Act uh, chapter two or to uh, Roman chapter six. We have many places now. I want to ask you the very uh, simple question about the death of Jesus. Is it true that your God Allah, he lied to the Christians and he made someone look like Jesus in the cross? Yeah. Why he lied to us? Don't you think lying is bad, sister? Um, lying is bad, yeah. It's bad, right? Yeah. So your God Allah cannot be God. If God himself is a cheater and a liar, then how we can trust him? So now the Christians, according to the Islamic story, they were witnessing... Wait, I, have to think. I think he did it for deception because if Allah didn't do that, then we would be one religion. 
us or Allah he decided to deceive us so we can be divided and we have many religion that's a good point so Allah is Satan okay but that doesn't make him a Satanist no it make him a Satan who is the one who deceived yeah, people yeah, who, who is the one who deceived people God or Satan you just said everybody heard you and I agree with you I agree 100% with you you are being honest Allah he deceived us so we will not be one religion following the truth so now we can be divided killing each other hating each other shedding the blood of each other we go at war you you know I kill your brother your brother kill me or kill my son or I kill his son so Allah now is happy this is his will he enjoy bloodshed he enjoy deception and you are the one who used the word deception actually one of my books is called the deception of Allah so what kind of God is so did Allah did Allah send Muhammad and the Quran for guidance or he sent us the Quran to, to misguide us he sent it to misguide us thank you very much that means you worship shaitan my sister why you do that ya Allah I worship shaitan yeah but why you do that why you worship shaitan Allah is shaitan you just admitted that Okay, wait, I have a question. Well, let's focus on the shaitan now. Why you are worshipping shaitan? Why you are worshipping Allah? You, you no agree? Lie, no lie. You agreed with me no that sh can't. you agreed that shaitan is Allah and Allah is shaitan. And you said, yes, I worship no, you. So, I don't believe in Jesus. Okay, no problem. I'm not asking you to believe. Did I ask you to believe in Jesus? I'm asking you why you favor. Okay, let us talk about this. Why you favor shaitan, Allah, to be your God as you call him yourself? You are the one who says, I worship shaitan. Okay, no, I don't want you to convert. First, you have to deny the shaitan. If you spit at Allah, I deny the shaitan. What do, do you mean? Do you spit at Allah? Yeah, Allah. I deny shaitan. No. Do you spit? Do you spit at Allah? I have a, wait, I have another question. Do you spit at Allah? If you spit on Allah, if you say I spit on Allah, I will believe. Am I gonna die? What? I don't believe in Jesus, am I going to die? Why? That's a question towards you. Answer it. If, if I don't believe in Jesus, am I going to die? No, you will not die. You will go to hell. Why am I going to go to hell? Because you are stupid. You are believing in shaitan, yet you don't want to follow God. That's what you told me. You agreed that Allah is shaitan. He did deceive us. He want to divide us. And yet you decide to follow shaitan over Jesus. Well, this is your stupid decision. It's not, it's not my fault. It's your fault. But it's like somebody says to you, you have a fire in your house, you better get out. And what you say? I don't care. I must stay here. Then later you become a barbecue. Okay, it's your fault. I'm saying basically is what you're saying. What you are saying? You are saying you worship shaitan. shaitan. Do you, you believe Allah shaitan? You said that. No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you a question. You said you said Allah is shaitan. You said you said you said Allah is shaitan. And I agree with you. It's not the opposite. It's not me who said Allah is shaitan. It's you who said that. I agree you with you. Deceiving people and that makes him say uh Shaitan, yeah. If I deceive you, okay, if somebody he is a if somebody is a scammer, listen, listen, a scammer, he call you, he says, I'm from the bank. Uh, please uh, give me your password because somebody trying to log in. Okay, he deceive you. Now he go and he take all the money from your bank. Is that a good guy or a bad guy? He deceived you. Bad guy. So you worship the bad God, the devil. There's a good God and bad God. The God of this earth is the devil. And that is Allah. And the good God is our Lord, the Messiah. He don't misguide us. He love us. He care for us. How he can be a prophet? Okay, if he is a prophet, I will go with you. If he is a prophet, why he can resurrect people from death? He didn't resurrect anybody. Allah gave the ability. Ah, uh, so how he did not give the ability to Muhammad or any other prophet? If there's any other prophet, he have the ability. 
Because Muhammad isn't Jesus, that makes no sense. This is not the question. Ah, so Muhammad is not Jesus, so Muhammad cannot, cannot do what Jesus can do. So now Muhammad, he claimed that all the power of Jesus is given from Allah, but you just told me that Allah is shaitan. Okay, Allah the shaitan, according to you, he deceived. So how come Jesus don't deceive? If he is the prophet sent by Allah, well, he should do the same as Allah like to do. Was Jesus a deceiver? No. Did he kill people? No. Did he rape women? No. So he cannot be sent by Allah for he is very good. But according to you, according to you, Shaitan, Shaitan is a bad person and, and that is Allah. I'm leaving the fold of Islam and I'm accepting your Orthodox Christianity. I did not talk about Orthodox or any form of Christianity. Is a Christianity? Christianity but is you're Orthodox. no, no. I am not. Christianity is Jesus. Is not an Orthodox or Protestant or Catholic. Okay, what are you? What's your religion? I am. A, I don't have religion. I believe in Jesus. Jesus is not a religion. He's a real person. Well, that makes no sense. You literally just said. I believe in Jesus. I have no religion. Yes, Please. yes. Jesus uh, Christianity is not a religion. Religion is a is a, a creation of a group of a belief. They gather together. They call themselves religion. Like as example, okay. uh, atheist, atheist. Even though they don't believe in God, still they are religion. Even though they have no God, so we are not. We don't have religion. We have God. So we follow God. We don't follow religion. We don't follow the okay. men. To get closer to Jesus. Uh, first, you have to spit at the shaitan, which which is Allah, and you denounce spit at spit at Allah now, and say Muhammad is the devil, and then I will be happy to explain to you more about Christianity. Are you willing to do it? You literally just said that. You literally okay. That makes no sense. Like I feel like you're being hypocritical. Uh, what 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 is hypocritical? me. Because you're telling me to spit at something, but you're saying, oh, isn't it bad to rob a bank? Isn't it bad to do this? Isn't it if bad If you spit to at shaitan, are you comparing spitting at shaitan, who killed and he raped and destroyed, if is the same spit as... After you, yeah, you spit after, after you. I spit at shaitan, spit at Muhammad, I spit at Allah, here we go, go ahead. Your turn. Yeah, yeah spit on him, spit on him. I'm not doing that. Okay, then you don't accept Christ. All right. Okay. Guys, don't join, please, if I don't say so, if you don't mind. This makes no sense. I have to make a spitting noise in order to accept Jesus. No, I'm not asking you for, this is not about noise. I have to be for decent. I'm not asking you even to spit with saliva. I'm saying, I spit. Don't just say the word, I spit at Allah. Don't spit. Okay. Say it. Okay, I, I spit on Allah. Go. Okay, wonderful. So now what do you want to know about Christ? The Bible says that... Uh, I want to know how can I be saved by Jesus. Very simple. You believe in Him, that He is your Savior, and only Him can save you, and you will be saved. So if you believe in the teaching of Christ, that's why Jesus said, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do His will. And now you okay, are... You are the first step to come to Christ. You just spit at, at, at Allah, which is very good. And now it's time for us to accept the Messiah as our Savior. And then the Messiah, He will save you. The Messiah, He said, knock at my door and I will open for you. So it's your turn to knock at His door and say, Hey, Lord, my, my, my Lord, save me. I want you to accept me in your kingdom. And He will. Okay, is there a special way to pray, like, with your hands? Like, what do you do? Uh, you know, uh, uh, rituals uh, in Christianity uh, is not uh, what make you Christian, as Jesus, he said. When you pray, you go to your closet. Uh, pray in your closet. Why? Because many, when they pray, uh, they are hypocrite. They want to show. So what Jesus, he warned us not to be like those who pray in the corner if somebody can pause the scriptures. So pray in your closet because... Doesn't that make you look even more suspicious though? No. If you're nobody, closet, nobody, can, nobody can see you. Nobody can see no, you. The closet here, the closet is not a place where you put your, your clothing. It's a private place where you are not exposed to the eyes of others. Closet is a very private place. 
nobody will be there so now when you pray don't be like the hypocrite Jesus said because they receive their reward by the prayer they do it's a reward of the people see me pray like this what do I tell them there's many ways like if you want to pray exactly as the Bible you know uh, we have a prayer they ask the Lord uh, how to pray he says pray like this our father art of heaven you know and you can you can say it but however prayer in Christianity is not about repeating the word but about saying what is in your heart you can speak to the father from your heart whatever you want ask him speak to him uh, 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 ask for your own things because each one of us in his life he have his own problems he have his own emotion his own life however if you want to make certain prayer which Muhammad actually copy he tried to make the same as the our father in earth and heaven he called Al Fatiha if you go to Matthew chapter 6 you will see it when they ask him how to pray he said okay you pray in such a such a way our father out of heaven so and you continue reading the rest however this is not the only way to pray you can say whatever you want with decent heart to your creator okay. and he will listen what's most authentic Bible there's nothing it's called most authentic and most uh, most loser either it is authentic or it's not the we have uh, what do you think is the most listen listen okay of of the manuscript the manuscript of the Bible we have thousands of them those are collected and then they are compared to any book as a translation or a print if they are if the print match then this book is good. If it's not, it's rejected. So translation always will be not perfect. The same as the Quran. Everyone have his own translation. The word can be used different. However, we go to the original manuscript with either in the Aramaic or in the Hebrew uh, uh, language or in the Greek language. Okay, I have another question. Do I have to pray to the Pope as well? We don't pray to the Pope. Nobody pray to the Pope. The Pope himself, he pray. You have wrong information. The Pope every Sunday he prayed to God to but forgive his sin. I can I can I can pray for you, but don't pray to him for him. We pray for him like let's say somebody is uh, sick. Like now, if you say I'm sick, I say guys pray for her. You know, we're not praying to, you're not God, we're praying to God for your sake. So we as a Christians, only God we pray to, no one else. Even when like some Catholic they say mary pray for us they are asking mary to pray for them they are not praying to mary pray for us so they are asking mary to pray same as and I, I can ask any mary here do we have any lady here her name is mary hey mary pray for me i have a dick okay so now we are asking somebody to join us in the prayer to pray all of us we pray to god okay um so in my christian like how does this work if you believe in the messiah as your lord and savior and follow the teaching of christ you don't go sleep around you don't lie you don't deceive you don't kill you don't cheat you become a decent woman or decent human being doesn't, doesn't matter if you are a male or a female if you do so okay, is there shada? huh is there shada? there's what we don't shahada i mean uh, shahada shahada is a wrong word actually for anyone to use because you are uh, in islam the word shahida is something you see with your eyes this is what shahida mean so in muslim they use a very false stupid words when they speak about becoming a muslim in christianity we don't use such a word we say that when we witness to jesus we witness to you not to god to you so now if you want to convert to christianity you say O oh Lord, my Lord the Messiah, I accept you as my Lord as a Savior. <laughs> I believe in you and I want to be saved. Are you are you 19 years old or you are a teenage? I'm 19. So why are you are laughing? Are we talking? I wasn't, la I wasn't laughing at you. I saw a bird fly. Ah, you thought. Ah, okay. So are you serious? You want to become a Christian or you are here coming for a joke? No, I'm serious, I'm serious. Okay, then if you want to accept, do you feel like you accept Christ as your Lord, as your Savior? Yeah, I'm so serious. I feel like Jesus is real, really speaking to me. All right, so why don't say I want to accept Jesus as God? 
No, I accept Jesus as God. Okay. As do you. Okay. Muhammad is a pig, you said? I said we're on the same page. Oh, uh, okay. So now you believe that Muhammad is a bad person, Allah is a shaitan, and Jesus is your savior, correct? Yeah, he rapes people. Who raped uh, Muhammad? Yeah. Muhammad, he raped people. Okay. So why you until now, until now, like, uh, today you decide to leave Islam. Why you did not leave Islam yesterday if you know that Muhammad, he raped people? Um, because I, I have school. What does school have to do with this? I'm talking about Muhammad, he raped I'm people. I'm young. I'm young and I have hustle. I have oh. school. I have other things to do. Okay. All right. Take care. Lord have mercy. Uh, we have... I think Silver Fox was before and he lost his connection. Yeah. Go, go ahead, Silver. No! Hello? Yeah, what? Why are you screaming? Oh. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I'm nervous. Okay, what do you want? I'm so, you, good evening to you and to everybody listening. All right. Oh my God, okay. So, um, you, is everyone, do you hear me good? We hear you, we hear you. Good. Thank you. I have been following you for, I don't know, it's going to be two years now. And, um, and what I want to know, I, I'm not going to say, you know, it's not with the religion and everything and what I believe in and everything. I just, I just, I come from a Roma. I'm a, I'm a gypsy. I'm All right. a Roma woman. Okay. Okay. And, uh, what I discovered, as soon as I, I don't know how, you know, I'm a strong believer and, and that, that, you know, my Lord Jesus opened doors and everything, but I just found you by accident and everything until today, you have said, describe me and the cult that I am coming from, Okay. the Romans. The gypsies. I have to say the gypsies. It's not allowed anymore, you know. But we have the same traditions and the culture. And we abuse. Um, oh, yeah. We abuse the name of our Lord Jesus. The way the same they do. When it comes to, you know, Wallah. Allah, he, and, and, and then the stuff they say, you know, if you ever been to Egypt, the way they, oh my God, it's incredible. Oh my, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to read what people are writing, you know, but you made me realize, you know, because some researchers have made that we come from India and the descendants and the, the, the pyramids and the Asherahs over there. No. We are the descendants of them, this, this people, this, this cult. But somewhere on the way, we adopted and we accepted Christ, you know, our Savior, the Messiah. But everything you just said and the way you describe them, the mentality of them, the way they lie, you're like narcissists, evil, lying it's, they're born with it and it's incredible how they get away with it and the, the countries and the communities wherever they go to we have to accept them do you hear me mr prince i hear you i hear you so i'm listening okay yeah am i making some kind of sense of i'm listening we, we are learning because i don't know much about the gypsy all what i know that really yeah. They are not too much, are, in, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, well, this is somewhere, somewhere, you know, I, what I know of because of my studies and every research and everything I did, because I was the curious one in the family, because we're not allowed, you know, to, you know, of all the three girls, no, no, 
oh my goodness, you know, marry you off and get the man and whatever he does, that's the law and that's the rules and that's the life you live in. The mother-in-law, oh my God, Jesus. You know, it's, it's horrible and it's tough to leave. It's you against them, but you know, my what I found out is that somewhere, our, you know, wherever we went, it's like we were slaves. That's how I see us. We were yeah. just the slaves. And wherever we like the gypsies, we're known for hustling, for lying, for stealing, not being trustworthy. You know, even if we get accepted somewhere in a community, we we gotta lie, and we're not gonna we, we're not gonna be honest, and that's the truth. And for my generation, the women, oh my God, and now it's more you know more modern, more you know more opportunities, more choices, and it's okay, you know, to make a choice at eighteen and so forth, but. It was tough, but the way when you explained it and the way you talked about this and and, and, and Islam and the, the, the women's role and the men and I I'm, I'm, I was like I'm, I'm from them I'm, I'm, I'm this is it but thank God you know that what wherever we, we we went to and whatever countries you know as Romas, our flag is the wheel. We travel. We're caravan people, like nomads. And who, you know, some probably are stuck within within the Muslim faith, Islam, and ninety percent of us are Christians, newborn Christians. Most, my family, my mother's side, are Catholic. I mean, uh, Christian Catholics. That's what we are. That's what I was raised in. But the culture and the traditions are what's killing people. Yeah, you see, there's many people, they might join into Christianity. Sorry, but I just, I did just, oh, sorry if I took some time. No, 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 it's to okay. Give you some kind of introduction and the people watching and listening. And That's okay. God bless. You know. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for you. sharing with us. Thank you. Thank you. And I want, I want to thank you, sister. You can leave. I want anyone, anyone who was making a stupid statement in the chat, you are not welcome. If you don't respect the one who speak, she's being honest. She's being decent. I'm, I'm yeah. Yeah. I use the word. I see some people get offended of the word gypsy. Sure, of course, there's a law now and everything. But yeah, the, sister, sister, don't worry, don't worry. I, I'm, I'm just explaining to them. I'm just explaining to them my rules here. Yeah. yeah thank you. You can, you can step away, please. Uh, anyone will come here, and you will make fun of anyone going to speak, and he is being decent. I will boot you forever. You are in the wrong place. I believe her shoes is better than many heads are here. She have the bravery to come and speak about her culture, how ugly it is. And what I'm people? Prince, what uh, people they do? Sorry, I don't want it to go Hold on, Alfonso. I'm talking, please. Sorry. Yeah. What people don't want is somebody speaking in an honest way. And right away you will see in the chat how many people are making fun because they are a bunch of garbage, trashy people. So they don't respect you when you say I am I'm doing bad. They don't respect you when they say I wish I am better. They don't respect you when you confess your sin. They respect you only when you wear nicer clothing, when your skirt is one, one centimeter and you are famous and celebrity, even if you are a whore. So if you are one of any of those, you are not welcome here. I will block you. So next time when somebody come to the mic, he speak like this lady, either you respect her or you put your shoes in your mouth and I will throw you out. I'm not here to collect the trash. That is not my job. I'm here to clean it.
a bunch of idiots. Maturity is extremely important for our future success. But nobody want to get mature. They are here just to bully. They are looking for entertainment. This is what this discord is about for them. So they jump from a chat room to chat room to bully people. The fact you are bullying yourself. Because at the end of the day, you are nothing but a bully. Go ahead, Alfonso. Or Alfonso. Alfonso, go ahead. Alfonso, um, I'm sorry I'm for interrupting you All right. earlier. Um, I just want, I just have one um, short question. And I'm a Christian and I just wanted to know how I can, um, you know, how I can become um, smarter or how I can um, improve my intellect. Um, do you have one spe specific um, answer for this improve your intellect yes improve um, i don't know my english is not that good i understand uh, when we talk about intellect you are talking about intelligence yes you, you, you see uh, i don't think anyone can improve his intelligence i think we are born in a certain way but we can improve our knowledge not the intelligence and the more you know the more you feel you are better. Your intelligence does not, not change. It's like, you know, uh, like you buy a computer, the computer has 6 giga, uh, gigabyte, a byte, or uh, 16, or, you know, that's it. But okay. you can make it full, either with rubbish, and that will make you more horrible, or you make it full with knowledge and wisdom, and that will make you upgrade yourself to a different level, even though your brain did not change, the way you are born did not change, how fast, how slow you are did not change. But having knowledge will make you able to make a better decision, and that will make you, let us say, mature. Maturity is not about age, it's not about degrees, and same as knowledge, it's not about how many degrees I have. It's about how much I know and what I know is true. So I advise you to read, educate yourself in every field you can. And slowly, slowly, you will see that you are a new person. You change, uh, you act different, you talk different, you respond in a different way. And then when you make a conclusion or a judgment, it's going to be in the best way for your benefit. Thank you very much and um, God bless you and your family. Thank you. And, God. Um, have a nice day. Thank you. God bless. We have, who is next? Was next? Piano or Piano? Go ahead, Piano. I see the name A. Maybe A was better, yes. was before. Go ahead, Piano. We go, we take yes, A next. Can you hear me? Can I hear, you hear me, brother Christian? I, I hear you. Go ahead. Good. I have been meaning to call you and um, I just want to use your platform. We, you know, as Christians, we are a community in Christ. Okay. That we pray for each other, you know. I mean. I come from Nigeria. I can tell. And I want to uh, inform, uh, at least, some people partially that the devil has relocated to Nigeria. One of the senior leaders of Hamas, what's his name again, Ghazi, Ghazi Hamad or something, is in Nigeria. I don't know if he has left. You know, they, they have been using uh, the Palestinians, they are, the, the way they want money, they want immediate money, a lot of money, and they don't care how. Human blood is their business. They are losing ground in, in so-called Palestine. They yeah. are relocating to Nigeria, my brother. They, uh, they've not had enough from us. First, when the, uh, they couldn't get Nigeria by war in those days, uh, UK, I mean, I mean, the British, they, they assisted them to, to put us down. And now, 
they have given every facet of the government is in the hands of the Fulanese. The Fulanese are originally from the Middle East. And they have brought him by stealth. Stealth, they, they, they have occupied every facet of the government in Nigeria. Then they brought in their Amalekite brothers from Lebanon. And now, all those uh, uh, rogues that are using the Palestinian blood to make their billions, they are losing ground in Palestine and they are coming, so-called Palestine, and they are coming to Nigeria. I tried to con uh, uh, to um, speak with you yesterday. It wasn't possible for me. I sent some uh, uh, a clip hoping that probably you would look at it and listen to it. He even, they even arranged for him. You know, the Nigerian, uh, it's uh, everywhere in the world anyways, the Nigerian, uh, what do you call it, television, mm -hmm. the, the, the big media it is controlled by them. Even before you get uh, work into government uh, areas, in many cases, you must be a Muslim. They brought this rogue on the national TV. Very soon, the fate of uh, 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 their the, the victims, so-called Palestine, I pray is not going to be uh, the fate of Nigerians because so far they have brought us down so much poverty. People are desperate. You know, Zakia Zak Naik mm -hmm. was also in Nigeria. There is not the religion, no, it's the human, the, the, the wealth, those rogues, they are just pushing religion forward. It's the wealth they want to take over, and in taking it over, they, they, they destroy the people, the, the national of that country. So, I am saying this, please, pray for Nigeria. We need pray more, for uh, sister, are we need more than a prayer. We need uh, to help Nigerian Christians. And the Nigerian Christians abroad, they should stand with their brothers and sisters inside Nigeria. The one who have money should support. The one who have education should uh, do something. The one who have a connection. So I advise actually a, a brother he called before you a few days ago. And I told him, you Nigerian, you better make an organization, international one. And you can contact Christian organization. If you establish one, I can contact many very powerful Christians. Uh, uh, like organizations and we can join uh, all together to support the Christian in Nigeria and if it have to be I mean maybe the the fate of Nigeria will be the same as what happened in the south of Sudan where the Christian in Sudan they were able to uh, uh, have their own state and this is the only way for them to survive and live their life as a Christians Muslims and Christians together, obviously, especially when, when the terrorists are the one taking over, like Boko Haram, and those terrorists who they are coming from the Middle East. The second you bring Muslims from the Middle East to a country, they will spread their poison. Yes. Afghanistan was not, okay. a, was not a bad country, even though there is Muslims. But when Osama bin Laden, just one guy, and a bunch with him, they are Arab, they came there, they corrupt the whole country, and the whole country became Taliban. So... Christian, they should unite with the Nigerian, and a Christian Nigerian themselves, they should unite with the Christian Nigerian, and not by just praying. Prayer alone doesn't work. The Lord, he says, I work and you work with me. So, prayer alone doesn't help much. You have to do what you need to do. You support them in any mean, in any way, and you support them in a political way, you support them by money, you support them to defend themselves, you support them. And when time you come, if it is not, it is impossible for you as a Christian and Muslims to be in one and the one government, because this government obviously is a filthy government, as you said, then you seek for separation. Make your own government. I, as I know that the Nigerian Christian, they are separated as a territory from the majority Muslim, the other side. You can make your own state, the same as the Sudan, but nothing is for free. Somebody... So something you know? something have to be paid, you know, and yes. in order to have my freedom in any country in the world, the freedom is not for free. Yes. Yeah. You know, you know, brother. Um, I I 
I think it was this same um, Ghazi, this senior Hamas leader, Ghazi Hamad, mm-hmm. that um, when when they um, when they killed uh, over 1,400 uh, Israelis, yeah. that went on national TV and said, "Al Yahud everywhere, they should start killing them." You know, before he said, "Yeah, yeah, that, I saw." I- I saw clips in YouTube, I saw clips in YouTube, and uh, I, I saw it actually in Israeli TV. Uh, obviously, those are a bunch of filthy dogs, you know, and they need, uh, uh, and that's why uh, maybe uh, Christians in Nigeria, uh, they should make cases against, you see those, those uh, corrupt men, they don't fear in the local, but they fear abroad, because all their money is abroad. They are billionaires, correct? So, if you make cases against them for war crimes or for supporting terrorism, they can confiscate their money abroad. And this is how you can really destroy their authority and destroy their ability. Not by just complaining on YouTube. So, gather some Christians from Nigeria, look for the evidence against them, war crimes, and not international. They go to your government, like you live in UK, make a case against them in UK. You have the proof, then they will be wanted and their money is going to be part of terrorism. So you have to be smart and fight evil in an intelligent way. Brother, I don't know what to think again. How many years have we been marching in America, in the UK? No, not marching. Marching will not do it. Marching is, is a waste of time. As I told you, one case against individuals who they are supporting terrorism and you have a proof, then the government, they have no choice, especially if you are a UK citizen, even though you are Nigerian, but you are a UK citizen, you have the right to make a case against someone who is hurting your family or family members in Nigeria. He's a terrorist, he's supporting terrorists, and you have videos, you have approves, you have his speeches. Uh, marching in the street, who cares? You know, here we go, those, uh, who, the, the fool who support Palestine, like those... Uh, 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 mentally ill people who like even they are Western but they don't know what they are talking about who care they can scream from now until next year about ceasefire in Gaza but they cannot ceasefire by screaming it will never happen so don't be like them and don't just march in the street march with doing taking legal action and taking uh, 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 action to establish organized political movement around the world for all Nigerian to be united to, and the purpose of it to support the Christians not to make money or for politics as uh, who is the president no to, to establish uh, uh, respect and protection for the Christian in Nigeria and then you will see how many Christians will join you not by marching not by street no they will join you for real they will support you financially they will support you politically they not only will pray for you because prayer alone is not what make a uh, hungry eat you know somebody god he use us so if we want to pray the first act of a prayer is to let god use you and this is the real prayer all right sister thank you, thank you very much for thank joining you. i have one, one more thing to say just one more thing to say all right there is a group in Nigeria, a tribe in Nigeria. They are called Igbos. All right. Right? When they came that time, I think it was a long time, they, they are the children of Eri. Eri, if you if you read the Bible. Okay. Eri is probably from Solomon or somewhere. Mm-hmm. And they settled in Nigeria in ancient times. They are now called Igbos. They used to be called Hebrews. Mm-hmm. But in my language, mm-hmm. there is no letter H. Mm-hmm. So, through the years, they are now called Igbos. And many of them don't even know their whereabouts anymore, you know, because I realize anywhere the, uh, the Jews go, Islamists follow them. Now, oh. they are bringing in Islamists, Igbos, they will never sell their land. Now that they have taken over Nigeria, this uh, Fulanese, this uh, uh, Middle Easterners, 
they have gone and taken everywhere there in their in their country and they are killing them selling their body parts abroad and one of them that is you know uh, making people come together he went to israel they put him on national tv they kidnapped him from abroad they took him back home we fought and fought for the uk government to intercede because he has the uh, uh, uk citizenship they did not do anything then that man has then been then you try yes. then you try other country you know not necessarily uk there are some countries they as you say they are corrupt and they are uh, they are siding with muslims what about the israeli why does Israeli don't do something they should do i mean those are supposedly they used to be hebrew so the Israeli should have. Yes, they, they should. Went. Yeah. They went. You know. You know what? There is this uh, uh, guy. If I would, I would uh, look for his name and send it to you. He went with his uh, uh, journalist team to mm. Nigeria. Okay. On, online is uh, is always we were never lost. We were never lost. They are looking for Jews all across the globe. He went there with his with his journalist team. They put him and his team in the dungeon. He took the Israeli uh, embassy and their government to release them. But they haven't released the Lamdi Kanu. Well, ob yes. obviously, o your, uh, still, still, I think you can do. And I believe that the Christians in any country in the world, if they are under a threat of terrorism, they have the right to defend themselves. So they should buy a weapon defend their houses, defend their land. Uh, I watch like what happened in the uh, in in the middle of Africa. Uh, I think it was uh, uh, the state of uh, uh, West, uh, I forgot the name of the country, small country in the middle of Africa, where the Muslims... Sir, sir, what's this going on? So what's what the name? Whoa, what was that? Sorry. Yeah, so the, they brought Arab, Arab people who speak Arab Arabic to take over the country the president who is local but he is a Muslim he brought them in the beginning when it was elected his mother is a Christian his father is a Muslim the Christian they were happy to have him but then uh, uh, as soon he became a president he brought thousands of fighters from Sudan uh, from Somalia from other countries to control the country very corrupt man, yeah. very evil. But uh, yeah. at, the, at the end, the, the Christian there now, they have their, uh, uh, they, they took him away and they are free from the garbage of those terrorists. So, but it took them a lot of blood. A lot of people died, a lot of people suffer. Yeah. So my sister, I advise you, don't this give up. Nigeria is don't give up. Orange. Yeah, Sudan, the Sudani, the Christian Sudan, it took them more than 20 years, if not more, to have their own state. The Christians in Indonesia, in east of Timor, the Muslim Indonesian, they slaughter them. But now they have their own state. So if there is people who they are willing to fight for their freedom and they're independent, they will have it. If you don't yeah. have the will, then you have nothing. Nobody... There yeah, yeah, nobody... Will point, mm, nobody will protect you unless you protect yourself. Yeah. 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 Thank you, I, sister. I, 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 want, I want to tell you that what you were always saying that uh, you don't fully trust Trump. You know the uh, guy that married the second daughter of Trump? Yeah. A Lebanese, you know, that Amalekite Lebanese that has sucked our blood dry in Nigeria. They call it Nigerian Lebanese, Pilonia. What the, where, what where did he get his billion from? Trump, Trump uh, his, uh, his son. His second his... daughter. His what? From the other woman. His son? Yeah, but this is not Lebanese. He's, he's a Jew. He, he's a Jew. You are talking about Kushner? No, no, no. He has a second daughter okay. by another woman. A short-term a short marriage he had. I forgot her name now. The man, he, she just married maybe one or two years ago. Okay. Called him, they called him... Uh, Bilonia, Nigerian Bilonia, Nigerian Lebanese Bilonia. 
They bring them, they import all those rooks to our country, they are soaking up dry and calling themselves li- li- uh, 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 billionaires. Hmm. Well, I don't know much about this. Uh, this is the first time I hear. Let us see. You find it online. Yeah, okay. Thank you, brother. I don't want to hold you because this All is right. not your topic. All right. No, it, it, no, it's my topic. We are here to support Christians around the world. Don't worry. All right. God bless you, sister. God bless you, too. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, I don't know who was. I think A, he was here first. Uh, a, can you go, please? Go ahead, A. The one whose name starts with A. Are you there? Are you there, A? Eh? Maybe he took a nap. Let us give him a mute then. Uh, who was after, A? Eh? Uh, let's see, I think it was uh, Ski. Go ahead, Ski. Good evening, uh, Christian Prince. Good evening. Um, first off, thank you for allowing me to speak. And uh, the one of the topics that I want to bring up, if I may, is because I read it in one of your books that I bought recently. Okay. Um, it says that uh, in Islam you're allowed to eat your dead wife. Mm-hmm. Um, this uh, really got me. Um, how to say? I don't know, it caught me so off guard and I really don't know how to overcome it. Can you please, um, if you don't mind, can you elaborate a bit more about it's it? It's about eating or having uh, sex with your dead, dead wife. Having sex. Oh, the necrophilia part, right. Yeah, yeah, not eating. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you can have, because according to them, uh, as long her body is still warm and she is not totally cold, the man, the husband, he can have sex with her. Yeah. And I can find the fatwa right now. Uh, let me give me a minute. Yeah, Islam is very, you know, uh, very, very filthy cult. And you cannot even imagine uh, how far it can go. Let me see here. Yeah, it's hard. It's it's hard uh, sometimes. Uh, it's hard sometimes to believe that there is something like this is exist. But this is Islam, you know. Uh, if we go, uh, and and the guy who made the fatwa actually, he is a professor in the highest university of uh, Islam in the world, which is Al-Azhar, uh, Azhar University. Actually, I have many websites, but I'm just trying to find more official one uh, yes. to, to show everybody. Uh, if you open this link here, I will post it, and you can use Google Translation. They are discussing different sect about having sex with dead women. How each sect, I don't know if the link is coming. Can you see the link, guys? Yes, sir. I think even there is a video there. I don't know if it's uh, going to work. So all those, they are discussing one thing. How lawful it is having sex with your wife who died a few hours ago. And obviously this, this cult, this satanic cult, have no shame, you know. I mean, All right. um, do you mind me asking you a question while we're at it? All right, go ahead. Um, since I'm, I was born in a Muslim family and just recently, right, over the couple of years, I realized, um, I mean, it said don't bow your head to idols made of wood and stone. Mm-hmm. And that caught me off guard because there was always going to this stone and whatever. And I don't know, like, can I want to be able to refute um, these 
I, I don't want to say these Muslims because there's nothing wrong with the humans, it's wrong with their faith. What, what, they, what do you mean refute them? What they say to you? Like, for example, one of the recent uh, arguments that I had with a guy was because your, your book, um, wait, let me just find it. Yeah. Um, the Quran and Science in Depth, mm -hmm. it says if it had been elder from Allah, they would have found within it many contradictions. Correct. And I brought this line up to the guy mm -hmm. and he started, I don't know if this is a common thing, but they laugh at you and they're like, no, you don't understand the interpretation and you don't speak Arabic. I'm like, okay, I don't know. Do he, do he speak Arabic? The one who is saying that to you? I, I think he was, yes. Uh. So as long as he speaks Arabic, what is the problem? Why he don't explain to you? <laughs> you see, you see, when you when you uh, when you talk to someone, uh, when I talk to a Muslim, I don't uh, expect an intelligent answer. I always expect the stupidity to float. Islam is like a poopoo, you know. It uh, and then when uh, I'm, I'm serious. And when, uh, if you don't cover it with uh, something heavy, as soon water come, you will see nothing but poopoo flying in the water. That's what happened in Mecca when the flood come, because people they you know use the septic uh, tank, and then the flood come, and then all the poop will be floating. So when a Muslim he think he is a floating now, you see you did not drown him, but he didn't notice that he is a floating because he's so light like a poopoo. So they float like a poopoo in the top of the water thinking that they are smart, but the answer he gave you is against him. First of all, exactly. if you don't know Arabic, that means all the Muslims in the world, they cannot understand Islam and none of them is a Muslim. Number two, if he is a person who speaks Arabic, so what is, what is missing? Go ahead, explain to us. Obviously, he cannot explain. <laughs> so it turned to be, if you know Arabic or you don't know Arabic, still you are a fool. You're quite a menace to these Muslims, bro. Uh, thank you for the work you do. I don't want to hold you much longer. Uh, You're welcome. I have your books and I would want just to say, if you guys think it's <coughs> too much, I promise you there's so much gold in those books, you should at least buy one of them. Just saying. And thank you, Christian Prince, for all the work that you do. Don't say that. Uh, don't say that there is gold in those books. The Muslim will take it literally and some of them will jump to your house. <laughs> <laughs> there is, there is a lot for you guys to discover. All actually. right, all right. Th take care, brother. God bless you. Uh, bless you. Uh, I think I don't know. Fadi or Johnny was first waiting. Who was wait, waiting first? Fadi um, or go ahead, go ahead, Fadi. Okay. Uh, hello, Mister uh, Christian Prince. Call me Christian. Call me Christian, my friend. Just watching. All right. Sorry. Call me Christian. I'm not Mister. <laughs> Sorry, right. um, uh, English is not my first language. No problem. Um, uh, just before I start, uh, I just wanted to say what uh, what uh, I have I, I've been when I've been going uh, going through. Okay. And uh, uh, basically summarize my life. So I, I was born in Iraq, mm -hmm. and uh, in the in the city of Mosul, um, I immigrated to Australia. Uh, uh, because of uh, ISIS, um, I stayed in in uh, Sersink. I don't know if you know Sersink. All right. I okay. stayed in there. Um, um, we our our churches, our um, our uh, uh, houses, uh, they they were destroyed by ISIS. Um, uh, it, it was very sad, and we had to uh, spend. Uh, a lot of time in the church in Sersink. Um, everyone was uh, sharing. Everyone was sharing uh, the, the the like the toilet. It was very long. <laughs> it was very it was very long, and uh, they they get supplies. But anyway, anyways, uh, that's how I grew up with a bit a bit of hardship. But yeah, um, uh, when I immigrated to Australia, I I came here. Um, before before that, I, I was in Jordan actually. Uh, I was in Jordan. I stayed in Jordan for seven months. Um, uh, yeah, my father uh, passed away uh, sadly uh, in in Jordan. So I I had to like take care of my of my mother um, 
and my two sisters and uh, yeah there was also a, a bit of hardship uh, but I uh, thank God you know uh, uh, he provided me with uh, with Australia but uh, my question uh, sorry not my question but when I came here to Australia I obviously uh, studied and uh, uh, studied uh, uh, to, to try to um, uh, fit in with the community and everything. I didn't know much about Australia. I just knew that there was a lot of Arabs in a particular area mm -hmm. uh, here. So I went to the particular area, not knowing it was full of uh, Muslims. Mm -hmm. And I went to an area where it is so bad, it is, uh, it is like Saudi Arabia. <laughs> it, uh, like uh, most, of, most of the people most of the people, um, they they, um, uh, they they shave their uh, um, uh, uh, moustache, moustache. Mm, yeah, they the, 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 they are Salafi, uh -huh. terrorist. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. moustache and, and like they they, they, they cover uh, uh, like the, the whole thing. They just keep the eyes, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, um. I obviously I I graduated from, um my high school um, I'm now in university but I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with uh, with uh, um, uh, some of the Muslims they just like I don't know how to explain it uh, that they keep attacking my religion for, for some reason like uh, I, I have I have uh, when I try to make conversation with them they, they keep like forcing um, they keep forcing their religion on me why you don't force? Don't why you don't? Why you don't force your religion on them? How come they can do it to you and you cannot do it to them? What the problem? Because um, my my university that I went to is a, a mostly Islamic university. Why you go? Why you go to Islamic university? Why you don't move to the different one? Why you go? Why you stay in a place, my friend? You should not be in a place which is not good for you. You choose to be between. You know, for me, if you ask me. You said you go and you live between the Arab. I am an Arab. I will never live between the Arab. Why do you want to do that? Drugs, scam, spam, uh, 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 be the files. Uh, if you go to Israel right now, the worst community in Israel is Arab community. I'm not being racist. I'm an Arab. So if you go right now, listen to the news in Israel, Everybody, you know, every every day there's somebody shooting somebody in somewhere in you know between the Arab, not, not the Jews, not just Jews versus no the Arab killing each other. So Arab community is very corrupt. It's not a secret. So you move, you run away all the way from Iraq, running away from them, and you don't you go there and you sit with those those people. Why? Australia is big. So listen to me. I don't want to, I don't want to waste your time. You need to educate yourself learn be firm with knowledge about the bible about their religion and don't be a coward when somebody says something to you give him what he deserves answer him refute him get him busted fear nobody yeah. fear is your enemy yeah. Yeah, fear is your enemy it's not the enemy himself it is the fear is your enemy have you ever seen a woman she jump on the chair because she saw a cockroach But the cockroach cannot kill the women, but she jump and she scream and she make a she she make a theater about it. Why? Because this woman she decide to be stupid. It's just a stupid cockroach. So don't be a person who jump on the chair because there's a cockroach. He he's, you said he's they're enforcing. Well, fight back. Be the man. Educate educate yourself. I'm not talking about physical fight now. Obviously, they are not doing physical thing to you, but they say uh, you know something to you, making mockery of, of your or your book. Well, give them back. Your prophet is a child molester. The Quran is full of mistakes. Give them what they deserve. Why you are just uh, you know they are forcing themselves on me? They cannot. Nobody can force himself on you. Uh, yeah, I actually started like uh, again. I started like uh, uh, trying to educate myself and everything. All right. Because I keep getting hurt by both. Be strong, be strong. You have to have a strong yeah. character, you see. 
uh, 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 this can happen not only between Muslims. There is somebody always will try to bully somebody in a school. There's bully. Bully is a problem in the society. And Muslims' religion is a religion of bullies. All of it is based on bully. Even their God, he bully people in the Quran. So you have to learn how to, to fight against the bullies. Otherwise, they will bully you. So if, if somebody was able to bully you, it was because of you, not because of them. Because you did not stand against their bully. And they, you know, they, they will keep coming, bullying you. But the second you start showing them that you have, you are very, very well versed, you know how to get them and put them in their place, the bully will disappear. They will even avoid speaking to you about the topic. Who is the person who will come to Christian Prince and he will argue with the Christian Prince? Nobody. Yeah. Uh, there's a reason. It's not because I'm taller than you or you are taller than me or you are stronger, I'm not strong or no. It's about you, your character. Either you are strong as a character, nobody can bully you, or you allow anybody to step on you. All right, brother? Okay, thank you for joining us. God bless you. Uh, we have Johnny. Uh, go ahead, Johnny. Hi, CP. Yeah, Johnny will be my last caller, please, guys, because today I, I have some work to do. Go ahead, Johnny. CP, Musiq, come. I mean. Uh, you know what, I just wanted to, uh, one thing I actually wanted to bring up to, to, to Fatty's point, you know, I had uh, best friends are Muslim, one of them more radical than, than the most, and I had asked them to come and debate you. So I sent them all the links, the chats, everything like that, and, and I don't really know, I'm not really too tech savvy, so I, I just recently joined Rumble, Bumble, whatever it is, Discord, just because of you. Like, I'm honestly, I, I absolutely love, love your content. My brother Joel and I work out every morning and we listen uh, to everything that you have to say. It's unbelievable how educational this has been for me. But literally within a week, I asked him, are you going to go and debate him? And he, he, I haven't heard back from him. He doesn't want anything to do with you. See, see exactly what I was saying to, this, to, to, to our brother here from Iraq, right? You know, they, they, they come and they bully you, the one who they think he is an easy prey, you know. They are looking for a prey. So they prey on someone who is not educated, did not know much. The second they, need, they notice that the one is there is a lion, they turn into cats. As simple as that. So the cat is a lion, as long as the one in the front of them is nobody. And the, yeah, right. And the other thing I wanted to say is, is you know what, and I got caught because... I'm still learning about, like, I grew up, I was born and raised in Canada. My dad is from Syria. He's from Kanaipada, uh, an area called Mezdin Shams in the Golan Heights. He was displaced from the 1967 war. That's pretty much why we live in Canada now. Um, but we've always used the word Allah. And, yeah. And even right now, I caught myself, so I, I've actually changed that now. Based yeah. Based on everything that I've seen. I understand. Um, and, 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 and read. Because I, I did, I did purchase two of your books off Amazon, uh, the Deception of Allah, and it, it's amazing. But when Fadi said, uh, you know, his dad passed, I actually wrote in the chat, Allah Yerhamu. So my my first question is, is if I can't use Allah Yerhamu, what do I say now? The Lord, a Rub, the Messiah. No? I mean, why we need to use Allah, a Rub, Rub Yerhamu, Rub Yerhamu. Okay, and then the other thing... And there's other that, word, there's other word, Al-Ilah, does not present Allah. Dead. Yeah, this does not exactly. present Allah. Allah is a name. Allah is two words, A-L and La, not one. A-L is a word in Arabic, now it is used as The. But in the old language, where this word came from in the Aramaic and the Hebrew, A-L is a word meaning God. So as an example, Israel used to be in the old Hebrew, Israel, not Israel. Mikael used to be Mikael. Gabriel used to be Mig Gabriel. So Al is a word can be added or uh, uh, before the name or after the name to make the name belong to God. So when we say Emmanuel, where is the word God? Is the last two letters Il? That is Al in the Old Hebrew. So Emmanuel Al Emmanuel, So which God is with us. In, uh, in, the, in, in the name of Muhammad, uh, sorry, of Allah, it's not one word, even though it appears like one. Al-Lah, God-Lah. 
La is the moon god. A L is a word meaning God. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm familiar with that one. And my mom uses it every time I got in trouble when I was younger. <laughs> but, yeah. But, um, so okay, I have a. I, I want to see if you remember this. Okay, I, let's see if you've ever heard of this story because Allah Yerhamu, my dad. Or see, I did it again. Uh, Rabbi Yerhamu, my father, hmm. who passed away too, fatty. So uh, I know what you're going through, buddy. Um. He took me to Syria, and I went to, to John the Baptist's grave. I'm actually named after John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went there, and my dad, and, and, and honestly, we had to, like, dress up. We had to do all this thing, but it, it used to be one of the most beautiful, beautiful churches. Yeah, the Muslim, they took it, they make it a mosque, yeah. They, they took it. They took it from us, they made it a mosque. Yeah, massive, and, massive, very beautiful, massive, one of the biggest churches in the world. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. But there's two things, okay, that the, the Muslims couldn't destroy. One was the actual grave, the other was the bell. And the story goes, my dad told me, that every time somebody went up there to go and, and break the, the church bell, he would fall down to his death. And uh, something bad would happen. So they actually just built around it. So you actually, you, you can see where the bell used to be, but you can't see it. Because they just built around it to cover the bell. Yeah, hi there. And then, the, yeah, and then the other one was, and this story is going to be kind of like outrageous. So, and it's not really my question that I do have. So we don't have to spend too much time on it. But he told me that uh, when they tried to break the grave, correct, blood I know. started coming out of it. I, yeah, I know the story. Blood came from the from the grave, and uh, then they had to ask the priest to come and pray, and then the blood go back to the grave. And then the blood came back into the grave. Yes, I know. Because they had to bring, they had to go and they had to bring priests to come there and pray and pray and pray. And as they prayed and prayed, it came back and folded up like a carpet, went back into the grave. And then they put the grave back and sealed it. And now they have, they believe in John the Baptist. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, go ahead. But <laughs> anyhow, my question for you. Uh -huh. Um. Recently, I came across this YouTube production that stated that the Catholic Church was behind the rise of Islam. Is there any truth to that? Uh, you know, anyone who says such a stupid thing, he is so stupid at the point, he forgot that the Crusades are the Catholic Church. So the first ones who fought Islam, in fact, it is the Catholic, it's not the opposite. I saw a guy, he claimed to be a professor, in the seven advanced church which is not a christian church he said that even mary uh, sorry khadija she was a, a, a catholic nun khadija she have three husband yet she is a catholic nun so those are stupid people you know they want to spread lies the same as the muhammadan they spread lies about christianity and those are the same kind of those people who spread lies about the catholic that's why we are here to fight all kind of lies doesn't matter who say the lies the one who say lies, he is serving Satan, not God. There's many things in the Catholic Church I don't agree with, but whoever says such a thing, this is absurd and stupid, and the person who okay. said that, he is a certified donkey, and I am willing to give him certification from my hand with the stamp of my foot, you know? I stamp it with my foot. Yeah, this is a big fat lie to the point even, even, okay, even a mule cannot eat it. So, uh, same time, yeah, uh, if you go right now in YouTube, you will find uh, Orthodox priest, Catholic priest, uh, 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 Protestant. They are praising Islam. So we have coward liars in every single church. When I'm, I'm saying single church, I mean the group, you know, like call them Protestant or Catholic. So we have garbage. It's true. But it's a shame to say a lie about certain church we have liars who say in our churches today that the Muslim worship the same God they have the same God of Abraham that is absolutely false and you will find them in the Orthodox you will find them in the Catholic you will find them in the Protestant and this is why we are here we are here to correct the fools so a foolish man cannot fool you thanks CP lastly I don't know if you got my other messages but my fiance are getting married June 29th, 
and uh, I'll pay for your flight to come to my wedding. I absolutely love you. I adore what you do. God bless you. And I understand if you can't make it, but I thought I'd invite you anyway. Well, as long you are inviting me, I will invite only my 96 cousins, if you don't mind, because I don't like to go without my bodyguards. Is that okay? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> well, which, which state you live in, brother? Uh, I live in uh, London, Ontario, Canada. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, Canada is really far, but nothing is far if, if you have the will to do it. But my brother, I pray for you that uh, you, you will have a beautiful uh, uh, family, uh, good parents. Uh, we pray to the Lord to, to, to give you good fruit through this marriage. We pray that you stay, you love, your, love your wife and your wife love you and never betray each other. And we pray that the Lord will bless such a marriage and I will be happy to hear soon, maybe next year, that you have a beautiful baby. Oh, thank you so much, CP. God bless you. Take care. Bye bye. Thank okay, you. Okay, take care. All All right. Right. So, guys, I might go live on air again. Some people asking if I will be here again. I might, you know. Sometimes I say I'm not going to go live. That's it. I'm, I'm tired, you know. But it's hard sometimes to resist to do the good work. So I will see if I can, if I could, I will be back. And. You know, that's why I say subscribe to Patreon. It's for free. You do not need to make donation. Uh, and I don't know, like uh, people, they keep saying to me, why you keep saying you don't need to make donation? You know, well, uh, we want people to, to hear. And uh, we are not here to do business uh, or uh, to make money. So Patreon for me is the same as a Facebook. You do not need even to make a name. You can go there. See the last post I made, click in it, and you will see where I am. As simple as that. So, update yourself about where we will go, and join our Discord, join the Rumble, and we pray the Lord will bless you all. And I hope that today we have a good, you know, good, uh, good things that have been said, and we learn something as usual. And we pray that the Muslims, more and more people, will leave Islam. Uh, Yeah. Anyway, so be careful from liars who lie to you about other churches. We as a Christians, we are strong when we are united. Don't speak of being a Catholic. Don't speak of being Protestant. Don't speak of being Orthodox. Be Christian. Christ, unite us. The devil, divide us. So you do not need to be genius to know that division is from the devil. It's not from Christ. It's not. So avoid division and avoid false priests and false teachers who lie about other churches too. And anyone, he says to you, that the key of heaven in his hand is a big fraud. The key of heaven is not in the hand of anyone but the Lord, the Messiah. He is the Savior. No priest. Follow the Messiah, you have the book. You have the Bible. You do not need them. If they are smart, listen to them. If they are people who have a beautiful heart, they love other Christians, listen to them. If they are there to bring division and hatred between us, obviously they are not serving God. Anyone who bring hatred, you see, we don't hate Muslims. Anyone who bring hatred is not serving God. For hatred doesn't, doesn't solve problems. It doesn't. And always hatred generate lies because you hate a person you are willing your hatred will drive you will control you so you are willing to make up stories and lies about the person as we heard like somebody told him the catholic is the one who made islam expand how in the world such a thing will be said so some they have a very much hatred and they are willing to lie when somebody says to me about muhammad and this is not a true. Even it look Muhammad, make Muhammad look more bad. I say this is not true. I don't support false argument. Just because I know Muhammad is evil. This is what the Muslim do. The Muslim they support false argument to win an argument. A Christian who supports false argument to win an argument, he is no Christian. He's false. And this is what divide between us. And the false one. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you. And Ante will see you soon again, maybe tonight again. God bless. Mostly I will come back, mostly, but we will see. God bless you.
Take care.